Hey guys and welcome back to the Tottenham career mode. It's not going too great, we already know that. It's been a struggle so far the start of the season. But we did start off well in the Europa League, winning against Standard Liège narrowly. And in the previous episode, we uh, also qualified for the next round of the Capital One Cup and then drew 0-0 against Manchester City. So things are slowly improving, things are on the up, which is always nice to see. And before we actually go into the next game, we've got a training session to do. It's always interesting. These are once again the drills. I need Harry Kane to improve his dribbling and ball control. It looks like it's going to help him a lot if he's not as luggage on the ball anymore. So I'm just going to sim them, hopefully get some decent results, especially for Harry Kane, because I still kind of believe in him. Not if he's getting those type of results, but still, ball control and dribbling going up. Ericsson, Jesus, that was poor. All right, then, this is the team for the game against Straps and Spore in the Europa League. Apart from Jan Vertonghen and Kyle Walker, everyone seems to be in decent form, which is always nice to see. They're slowly but surely improving their performances all round, so um, very happy with that. Hopefully, we can now perform as a team, get our second win in the Europa League, and really um, start off the European campaign with a perfect start. Three points is what we're looking for in Turkey. Let's go. Good turn by Lamella, straight away creating chances here. Eric Lamella slipping through, Berahino, good shot. Good save as well. Oh, well then by Kyle Walker, that's what we want to see. Kyle, well played. Side of Berahino, into Harry Kane, that's a penalty ref, surely. How is that not a foul? Good turn by Kane. Use a bit of strength as well to avoid the players right there. The agility and dribbling training actually paying off for Harry Kane because he's created this chance from good dribbling. I probably should practice his finishing next. And that's half time. It's been a one sided half of football so far. Tottenham dominating away from home. I don't think they've had a chance yet. And we've created multiple chances. Just can't can't score for some reason. It says we only had two shots and one shot on target, but you know, there were some penalty incidents as well. I feel like we should have been one up at this point. Oh no, that's well played by Ndoye against Hugo Lloris. He absolutely fluffed that chance. Could have been one nil. Good turn by Eric Lamella. He's a bit stuck down the wing. We need some more options. I think Traps on Spore are going to go for a point here. Look at their setup around their own area. It's not really nice to see when you're playing at home. They should be taking the initiative and trying to attack. Although I've just given the ball away stupidly. We win it back straight away. We're definitely on top. But we just oh, can't break them down. There we go. Quick football now. Eriksen turns looking for Berahino one-on-one. Berahino looking for Harry Kane. First time hit. I... Harry Kane is getting some chances, but they're going awfully wide. All right, guys, there's about 10 minutes on the clock. I'm making a triple substitution. A Chadley, uh, Berahino and Lamella coming off for Mbolo, Townsend and Son in a final attempt to hopefully break down their defences and get the three points. It looks like it's going to be a nil-nil. They're holding on to the possession really well. I wanted to go on a counter-attack. It's not going to happen. A nil-nil is the end result. Not the worst result. We should still be top of our group. A point away from home against a side like this isn't the worst. And there you can see the final match track. It's a pretty dead game where we were slightly on top. We tried to create chances. They didn't. All right, guys. Another training session before we go into the game against Swansea. Going to do the same drills again. Focusing on Kane, Eriksen, Tielemans and Son. I'm hope I hope that I'm not wasting my time training Harry Kane because I really need him to become one big player for me in this career mode. Some half decent results, you know, Harry Kane's attack position and attack positioning and finishing going up and that's exactly what he was lacking in the last game, so I'm pretty happy with that. This is the team I'm going to use against Swansea. I'm not going to underestimate them. In real life, they're actually doing pretty well for themselves and are quite a good club. So it's not going to be easy at all. I've actually dropped the Anvertonen for this game because the player form once again has dropped for most of my players. Only Mbolo and Dembele being in form. Jan Vertonghen was completely out of form. I'm going to replace him by Wimmer. See how that goes. Hopefully we can get a good result. Let's take a look at the BBL table. They are actually doing way worse than us right now. Only two points behind us with the game in hand on most teams. Three points can see either team jump up the table pretty fast. And I want to jump up the table. I want to get into the left side of the tables. Uh, top 10 that means. And against Swansea who are not in the best of form, I reckon we can get a win. Off you go, Danny Rose with a bit of space down left wing. We haven't been great so far, um, Swansea beat on top of us. Danny Rose has continued his run, he's not a finisher, and he hits the post! Danny Rose with his right foot, unlucky son. 
Mbolo into Ericsson. What can Ericsson do? He's spotting the run from Hyun Min Son. He's got to get there with pace. It's Harry Kane. Saved. Son. Someone is going in. Yes. We scored the scrappiest goal in Premier League history. Son couldn't get there. Harry Kane got a shot off but was well saved. The defender missed the overhead clearance. And just the easiest goal ever for Son because the keeper just went full retard there. But we'll take it. 1-0 up. Going into half time, leading 1-0 after the luckiest goal I've scored so far on this game. And it's a vital one as well because I didn't think we were going to break them down properly. They bossed possession. They absolutely hammered us in midfield. But somehow we're in the lead. Mitra down the left wing. They've gone for it. They've gone all out attack. If we can get rid of it, we can potentially counter attack here. With Mbolo can, who can slip through Kane. Kane is on a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He has to score. Harry Kane, do not let me down. Harry Kane, one-on-one. -on -one. There we go, finally, he gets the goal, Harry Kane, thank you. I swear the training is helping him, first his dribbling, now he's finishing, it's all coming along nicely. His first goal in the BPL, it's shocking, but I, I'm proud, I'm not proud, it's still shocking, but at least he got his first goal now, hopefully he's off the mark. And that's the end of the game, Swansea have been beaten 2-0 by Tottenham, we did what we had to do, and that is get the three points out of here, that's important, that's going to see us move up the table quite a bit, maybe it was a deserved win in the end, we pulled it back second half when it comes to chances and possession, so I'd say we deserve that one, very happy with the result uh, altogether. Time for some more training, going to do the same thing again, same drills, simulate them all. Let's see what kind of results we get. Hopefully we'll, Ericsson will do a little bit better of an, than an F last time out. That's actually quite decent, you know, an A for Harry Kane. Is he finally going to improve? Is he finally going to step up and show us what he can do? And if Harry has something to prove to us, then it's the perfect time to do so because we've got Liverpool in the next episode. And after that, we've got another Europa League game against Braga. Can we continue our winning streak? Hopefully we can. We've moved up to 7th in the league table which is all right you know we're just one point behind city and the top five it's pretty decent we're actually doing all right now for those of you that are interested i'm gonna quickly flick through all the stats of all the players you can see how they've grown or even declined if that's the case and after that we're going to end the episode it's been pretty decent so far uh we've been doing all right is it time to maybe up the difficulty keep it in mind we're only winning narrowly. We're not dominating games, but we're winning them. Maybe that's something to think, to think about in the upcoming episodes. I hope you enjoyed. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later.